Operating Room OR Element D3 Sub Elements 13 Activities for Auditing D Means Documentation SI Staff Interview O Observation Score 0 or 1 or 2 Sub Elements D 3.1 there is a written policy and procedure for IPC in OR, including a clear policy to handle patients under airborne infection isolation precaution inside OR, for example, TB, and patients with infectious transmissible disease are scheduled toward the end of the operating list, and it should be documented. Review the policy, which should be comprehensive. It covers all Aspects of infection control in OR, including special protocols to handle patients under airborne infection isolation precautions, for example, TB inside OR, etc. Handling patients with transmissible disease, patient positive for one of bloodborne pathogens, patients under airborne transmission based precaution. Patient under contact and or droplet transmission based precaution, scheduling cases with infected wounds, for example, dirty wounds. Review the operating list. To review the list event for dealing with patients with transmissible disease or cases with infected wounds, fully applicable. All elements of the policy can be applied and comply with the hospital's scope of services based on scientific reference approved by MOH, GCC, CDC, WHO, and EBIC, signed for authorized personnel, for example, owner of the policy, hospital director or medical director, concerned department, approved by IC commit, valid update within two or three years and when indicated, comment, approved by IC comment is required for the infection control manual as a whole before distribution and also for individual policy after major changes. Sub elements D 3.2. There is a clear demarcation between unrestricted semi-restricted and restricted zone of OR with restrictions and special precautions for movement between these zones is done by observation and staff interview. Observe the OR suite that should be in, divided into three clearly demarcated zones, unrestricted area, area with limit public access that may include Central control points, it may be established to monitor the entrance of patient, personnel, and materials from the unrestricted area into the semi-restricted area. Local room lead into semi-restricted area, reoperative admissions area, offices waiting area, post-anesthesia care units. Semi-restricted area. Peripheral support area of the surgical suite. Corridors lead from the unrestricted area to the restricted area of the surgical suite. Surgical scrub sinks need to located and a semi-critical near to the entry of theater. At least one large scrubbing sink is available at the entry to each operating theater. Storage area for clean and sterile supplies. Restricted area, a designed space with restricted access that can be reached only through a semi-restricted area. This is a primary intended to support high level of space control, not necessarily for security purposes. Operating rooms, area for preparation of sterile surgical instrument and supplies, opening of sterile surgical seats, uh, sterile field, Preparation, which directly leads to operating rooms. Observe traffic control, movement of the patients, 
personal instrument and materials between different zones of the OR suite in order to ensure the restrictions and special precaution for movement between different zone areas strictly applied. Unrestricted area, limited public access, stressed clothes are permitted in this area, patients are switched between units, bed and OR trolley or beds in this area. Semi-restricted area, limited access to authorized personnel and patient accompanied by authorized personnel. Personnel in this area were wearing surgical attire and covering head and facial hair. No units, beds in this area, only OR trolleys or beds. Restricted area, restricted access to authorized personnel and patients. Personnel in this area are required to wear surgical attire and cover head and facial hair. Masks are required where open sterile supplies or scrubbed personnel may be located, plus appropriate use of a sterile gown and sterile gloves when indicated. Operating room scrub clothing. Operating room zone. Green color for unrestricted zone. Yellow color for semi-restricted zone and red color for restricted zone. Ask the OR stuff about. OR zones, demarcations, restrictions, traffic control, and special precaution to be applied in different zones of the OR suite. Example, require PPE in different zone. The limitation of personal traffic in the room decrease the amount of bacterial shedding, keeps air prevalence at the minimum, and reduce the accidental contamination of sterile items. A recent investigation has suggested a trend toward increased SSI rate with increased number of personnel in the operating room. Operating room doors should remain closed all the time, except as needed for the passing of equipment, personnel, and patients. Sub-elements B 3.3 Floors, walls, ceiling are formed of one piece without connection, cracks, or decorative parts, with minimal opening that are completely sealed and withstand repetitive cleaning and disinfection, and should be done by observation. Observe the internal finishing of the operating theater, floors, walls, and ceiling, which should be formed of one piece without connection. If formed of separate units or tiles, connection between units should be completely sealed. No breaks, gaps, cracks, or decorative parts are observed. All the necessary opening, for example, O2 supply ports, section ports, electricity plugs, that are completely sealed to keep pressure differences, made of suitable material, easily cleanable, withstand repeated cleaning and disinfection. Sub-elements D 3.4 At least one large scrubbing sink is available at entry to each operating theater and it's done by observation. Observe the scrubbing sink of the operating theater, which should be large, deep, and with hand-free control, close to or at the entry of each operating theater, depicted only for hand hygiene and surgical scrubbing, provided with dispenser of antiseptic hand soap for surgical hand hygiene, ideal to be single-use dispenser, not refillable, and disposable surgical scrubbing brush and sponge. Comment. One large scrubbing sink which is shared between two adjacent operating theater is an acceptable option. Sub-elements D 3.5 Storage area in the OR are organized and well maintained and distribution of a sterile item respected the first in first out principle and it's done by documentation and observation. Review the following documents. Housekeeping records, housekeeping schedule with clear procedure for cleaning disinfection activities at least daily, press practical D 
detailed checklist local record for regular monitoring daily of temperature and relative humidity observe the storage area of the OR which should be one of adequate capacity well maintained secure and away from contamination air vented and direct sunlight two well organized and regularly cleaned according to defined housekeeping schedule no personal items foods or drinks no items are kept in the original shipping box three storage shelves are made of easy cleanable material for example fenestrated stainless steel aluminium or hard plastic four storage shelf 40 cm from the ceiling 20 cm from the floor and 5 cm from the wheel 5 centrally air conditioned with adjusted temperature and relative humidity temperature from 22 to 24 celsius relative humidity up to 70 percent plus fixed device for monitoring For distribution process, first in, first out, there are three methods suggested to follow. One, use a left to right system. The newest item is placed on the left and the older items move forward to the right. The back on the far right is the first to be backed up for use. Two, use a back to front system. The new back in from the back of the shelf and back up the oldest from the front of the shelf. 3. A colored sliding shelf divider system. Divider containing the words use this first. Rented on the right side is moved up against the next back. As a new back are stored, they are placed to the left of the divider. Sub element D 3.6. Only necessary items are kept in the restricted area of the OR, and it's done by observation and staff interview. Sub-element D, 3.7. Doors are kept closed and only necessary personnel are allowed in the theater. It's done by observation and staff interview. Observe the restricted area of the OR, operating theater should be fulfilled with the following. Unnecessary items are kept outside. Only items prepared to be used with just one patient and extra supplies as little as possible may be also prepared to get ready for some emergency situation. The use of a storage cabinet in operating room should be minimized. Unnecessary personnel are excluded. Only anesthesia team, surgical team, and scrub assistant equipment technician if needed, as little as possible. Cleaning maintenance activity should be avoided during the procedure. Door are continuously kept closed during the procedure. Ask the OR staff about pre-operative preparation of operating room and how to apply concept of only necessary item are kept in the restricted area Protocols to exclude unnecessary personnel, for example, unauthorized HCWS trainee visitors conducting cleaning maintenance activities inside operating room. Sub-element D 3.8 OR environment is maintained clean and there are clear procedure for cleaning and disinfection by allocated housekeeping staff after each surgical procedure and at least daily. It's done by documentation, observation, and staff interview. Review the following documents. OR should have housekeeping schedule with cleaning disinfection activities log that records. A. Responsible housekeeping staff. All experienced staff are allowed. They should be well trained on hand hygiene, use of PPE, methods of cleaning and proper and safe mixing of chemicals. B. Methods of cleaning and used agents, materials and supplies. With cleaning, MOH provide disinfectant, detergent, non-linting wipes. C. 
environmental service intend to be clean and frequency. D. Clear procedure for cleaning disinfection activities after each surgical procedure and at least daily with practical update detailed checklist. E. Clear procedure for cleaning and disinfecting anesthesia machines by anesthesia technicians after each case and toward the end of working hours with practical detail checklist. Observe OR to ensure that OR environment is clean at all time and free of contamination, no dirt or dust. Check if tools, agents, and materials used for cleaning, disinfection activities are available and matching MOH standards. You can wipe out the main operative light lamp, operative table, or other environmental services. Ask the OR nurse, nurse in charge or nurse responsible for theater, and allocated housekeeping staff about OR housekeeping schedule, rule and responsibility of nursing staff in cleaning disinfection activities, method of cleaning, tools, agents, and materials to be used, terminal cleaning checklist, cleaning disinfection activities after patient with infectious transmissible disease, handling body fluid spills. Environmental cleaning should be conducted as follows. A. Every day before surgery begins. B. Between patient. C. After the last operation of the day, known as terminal cleaning. D. Deeper cleaning are carried out once a week and or once a month. Sub-element D. 3.9. Ventilation system operates all the time and never shut down even in long holidays. Air is introduced from the ceiling and exhaust near the floor. It's done by documentation, observation, staff interview. Sub-element D, 3.10. All recycled or fresh air is filtered through high-efficiency particular air, HEPA filter, that are maintained and replaced as per as manufacturer recommendation and it's done by documentation. Sub-element D 3.11. Operating room is maintained at positive pressure, at least 2.5 pascal, with respect to adjacent corridors, and it's done by documentation and observation. Sub-element D 3.12. Operating room ventilation is maintained at a minimum of 15 or 20 air change per hour, ACH, with 20% fresh air. This is done by documentation and observation. Sub-element D 3.13. Operating room temperature range from 21 to 24 Celsius and relative humidity from 20% to 60%. And this is done by documentation and observation. Review the following documents. 1. Copies of the original chart or project seal for ventilation system, air supply from central AC through with the at least 20% fresh air, or recycled and fresh air is filtered through high efficiency particular air HEPA filter. Air is introduced from the ceiling or high air vented in the well and exhaust near the floor. 2. Local records for regular monitoring daily of positive pressure difference, temperature and relative humidity, air change per hour, ACH with corrective intervention if readings are not matching the acceptable valves. 3. Copies of maintenance record for regular monitoring every three months of positive pressure differences, plus temperature and relative humidity, plus air change per hour, with corrective intervention if reading are not matching the acceptable valves. 4. Copies of record from the exhausting company or maintenance record for regular checkup and replacement high efficiency particular air HEPA filter as per the manufacturer recommendation. 5. Copies of record from the exhausting company 
or maintenance record for regular calibration annually of OR monitors. Observe OR theater to ensure that 1. Air is introduced from the ceiling or high air vent in the wall and exhaust near the floor. 2. OR monitor are valid and record valves in or local OR logs are identical to the actual reading. Comment. Ask the OR staff, nurse in charge or nurse responsible for theater about handling ventilation system of the OR during long holidays, local control for the OR ventilation system, for example, presence of a local on-off switch, adjustment of the ventilation parameters or personnel requests. Ask the maintenance staff responsible for the OR ventilation system about Handling ventilation system of the OR during long holidays, central adjustment of temperature and relative humidity, local control for the OR ventilation system, for example, presence of local on-off switch, adjustment of the ventilation parameters or personnel's request.